All right, tonight we have someone very special joining us, a driving force in sports and entertainment, not only in America, but around the world, and perhaps the key figure in putting Acroshore Arena together. We welcome on the CEO of the Oakview Group. It is Tim Lywicki. Tim, how are you? I, I'm good. And behalf on everybody that lives in the Coachella Valley and all nine communities, Fred, what a overwhelming welcome I give you and fantastic to have you as part of the Valley full time. Why there? Look, uh, to be honest with you, because then you went and you ran the Maple Leafs. You were up there working for Rogers. Uh, you know your business. You know your business. You know what you're doing. Why Acrisure? Why, why put it where you put it? It's a good question. So to be fair, we weren't going to put it there at first. We were going to build it in, in Palm Springs across from the convention center in a, a deal with uh, the the gaming Indian company, Agua Caliente. Right. And then when COVID hit, they backed out and decided, no, this is only idiots build in this kind of environment and with this kind of economic risk. And we still... I guess we were idiots, so we still wanted to go build it. Why did you decide that this, this valley, the desert, you would be able to put an arena here and make money? And, of course, you have to have that anchoring tenant, and you've done this before, so, you know, your brother put the Firebirds here, and that's great. But why did you decide this would make money, this is going to work? Well, you, you, you have a bit of wind in your sail when you have the largest manager in the history of the music and live entertainment business as your partner. Yeah, Irving. Which <laughs> I do with Irving Azoff. And so uh, obviously having Irving living there, uh, Irving just spent, uh, I, I, he built maybe the greatest golf course ever out in Coachella Valley. Uh, he privatized it with a friend of his. I keep on telling him, I think it's actually God's way of getting even with him. But I knew that Irving in particular loves the Valley and he, he'd been out there forever and he has a beautiful home and he was building the golf course and, and like us, uh, putting an enormous amount of money into the economy. So having Irving, having the Kraken and my brother as partners, so we own the Firebirds together and owning the Firebirds together with the parent company owning the arena together. And, and by the way, although we never publicized this much, um, Harry Styles is a partner in the arena. So we knew we would get a couple of Harry dates. And so I, I think we, you know, life, I always tell people the most contagious disease in the world is entrepreneurial spirit. And if you're an entrepreneur and you're a true entrepreneur, then one, you learn to take risk. Two, you try to see around corners. And three, uh, and a, a gentleman from Denver, where our headquarters are at, where I'm at today, named Bill Daniels, who helped create yes. cable TV and was hugely right. inspirational to me. Bill used to tell me, son, if you're going to be an entrepreneur and you're going to be great, then make sure you do it with vision and guts. And it goes in that order. You got to have vision and you got to see things 10, 20 years from now. Don't make a decision on how things are today. Try to make a decision based on how you see things being tomorrow. So, look, that's what we did with LA Live. That's what we've done with now 15 projects around the world. It's at the core nucleus of the company we created back in the day with Mr. Anschutz and AEG. And it's the same now that we've tried to do with Oak, Oakview Group, which is very visionary. Um, some people say we're, we're way risky. I, I don't think so. I just think we're visionary. And we've been doing this, Fred, as you know, for 40, almost 45 years. Yeah. You, 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 you tend to, I, I remind my daughter, who's our COO, when we have a disagreement on an issue. I have, in the last 40 years, made this mistake on this division, this particular issue, about five times. So trust me, at the end of the day, I've screwed this up more times than you would ever know, and I've learned my lesson on how to make the right decision. <laughs> we've been doing this a long time, and we've been very fortunate that we've built more arenas than anybody in the history of mankind and the history of, of the live entertainment industry. We have a fairly good gut instinct yeah. on what will make for a good community and a good bet. What's ironic is we privatize almost all of our projects, and so usually it's us taking the risk not the taxpayers.